עדינה טל, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. עדינה, I'm speechless. And it's very rare. Really? That it happens to me. You can ask my wife here. And this is because uh, what we have seen tonight here at uh, Nalagat. Mm-hmm. How do you translate it? Please touch. Do touch. Do touch. This uh, wonderful center of yours in Jaffa. So the inevitable question is, how did it all start? By coincidence. Wonderful answer. Like most good things in life. I never, I have no connection, and had no connection to deaf people or blind people or deaf-blind people. Um, my background is theater, and uh, all my adult, adult life I had an independent theater company. I liked it, and then I was asked if I wanted to give a drama workshop for deaf-blind people, and I said yes, not knowing why I said yes. Uh, I was in a stage of my life where I had a nice career, a lovely family, and this is a stage of your life that you maybe should, or you have a lover, and you want to change, uh, or you do something else, and then life surprised me very much, and when I, I was asked, would you like to give a drama workshop for deaf blind people, and I said yes, and... Uh, They said to me, only two months, don't worry, you don't commit yourself for a long time, it's only two months, and those two months are 13 years ago. Amazing. Bar Mitzvah. Yeah, actually, yes, yes. Amazing, congratulations. Now, I know that normally, forgive the word, uh, to come with a stage performance is... A huge task, even for uh, able people, mm-hmm. uh, not to mention theater, not to mention uh, musicals. So I am imagining it must have been double difficult when you have disabled actors at your disposal. Yes and no. Okay. Yes and no. Yes, because yes, it's very difficult doing theater that The biggest problem for a deaf blind person is uh, communication. Theatre is the art of communication. And, uh, and no, because you're doing something that nobody has done before and it gives you a lot of freedom in some way. And I'm a very, I don't have a lot of patience. And working with deaf blind people, it didn't make me more patient, but It taught me that there's a different uh, time. It's different, and time goes in a different way, and it's like, um, it's a different kind of planet even. So you work in a different kind of planet with a different kind of thinking, and I think once I realized that we don't need to be like any other theater company because we are different, but we need to be very, very good. We need to be professional, as professional as we can, uh, and we are a deaf-blind theater company. And I think it has a lot of advantages, and it has, for me, today, more advantages than disadvantages. I'm not, I don't like theater very much. And uh, if you would tell me now work with normal people, so-called normal actors, I would say, no, I think it's boring. The challenge here is so extraordinary. Uh, and it's like, you know, sometimes you do things and you don't know because when I started to work with the group, I had no idea what it m- meant to work with the group. So it's, it's like a journey. And it's a journey where you very often touch a wall and you think, this is it. And then when you touch this wall, it's just to open the door. It's interesting because the outcome equals the challenges. It's extraordinary. And I wanted to ask a silly question. Yeah. For example, a practical question. How do these people, most of them are blind, some of them are deaf. No, they're all, all of them. All of them are blind, correction. Correction, this is very important. And all of them are s- deaf and blind in the same body. Unbelievable. How do they learn their part of... their uh, lines how do they memorize yeah well 
the thing is that the, the word I there are two words I use. This is in sign language again. It's again and again and again repetitions. and again. Repetitions. Yes. And another word we took out of our vocabulary completely is the word impossible. Nothing is impossible. And um, so, yes, it's a lot of repetitions. It's a lot of doing it over. Look, we have a lot of music in the show and very beautiful mu music. They don't hear the music. And what it's, we it's, did, it's almost unfair. Yeah, but what we did then, we touch uh, the... How do you say that? No, uh, Macbell. Uh, uh, yeah, where you hear the music, the loudspeakers. The loudspeakers. Yeah. Thanks. And we touch them. They touch them, they feel the vibration. The vibrations. And then we dance the music and over and over and Amazing. over again until it gets part of their body. So they feel the music. So the yeah. music is relevant for them. Yeah. Now, do touch is not only about theater, it's a center. Yes. And we had, uh, before watching this wonderful play, we had an unbelievable experience in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Can you say a few words about well, the restaurant? Well, that's the blackout restaurant. Yes. Uh, it's pitch dark, and uh, blind waiters will escort you into the restaurant, as what you said is a very special dining experience. I must say that we are not the first uh, dark restaurant in the world, uh, and the first one, let me say, it's in Zurich, uh, Blind Cow. And, uh, but we are the only center that combines uh, a restaurant with uh, the black restaurant and the coffee shop we have here with deaf waiters and the theater with deaf blind actors. Remarkable. And I've heard you saying before in the nice meeting with the nice group you had earlier that 300,000 Israelis already attended one of your uh, shows. Yeah. And in addition you are traveling the world from yes. time to time and making a huge impression yes. on the audiences, both here and abroad. Yes, definitely. Our last trip has been to Korea and uh, South Korea. We were invited to open a music and theater festival. Um, only when we came to Korea, I said, oh my God, they don't eat bread. Like, bread has no a meaning like it has for us. And then, you know, at the end of the show, we bake the bread, and at the end of the show, we invite the audience to come on stage and taste the bread and communicate with the actors. And they said, we don't expect the Koreans to come on stage. They're very shy. And surprise, surprise. And then no bread. And I knew two Koreans in, in the audience, and there was a big hall for... 1,100 people, and they asked the two Koreans, please come on stage. Do me a personal favor, come on stage. After the first show, they came on stage, like about 800 people, yeah. <laughs> to take photographs, to eat the bread, to embrace, to autograms, autographs. And the second show we had, we put bodyguards here. <laughs> they're, they're superstars. <laughs> Uh, I know it's not easy running uh, such a center. I know it's a mission of love and it's hard work. And it's to be crazy. It helps. Yeah. Um, how do you manage financially? Well... Forgive the rudeness. This, I would say like something like that. It's a very big discrepancy between the huge success of this uh, place and the interest it arouses all over the world and the impact it has on people and our financial situation. Uh, it's, uh, we struggle really hard, really, really hard. Yeah. So, uh, to a point that there was some kind of very, and still is some very dark cloud about this place. So from this uh, interview comes a, a cry out to the world, support this wonderful... Partner, the most, well, 
amazing enterprise in the world. Absolutely. Sorry for not being uh, humble. Absolutely. And what can we wish you for the future then? To stabilize this place, to search for n always for new things, for new ways, for like the new group we have of deaf-blind actors with uh, Muslims, Samaritans and Jews and uh, to help this place be the island of um, Shfuyut. Sanity. Of sanity, island of sanity and uh, to create some kind of reality that, you know, we live together, Jews, Muslims, uh, Christians, Samaritans and basically it's easy. It's easy and it's doable and I think I wish for this place to never stop dreaming and that sometimes I would love to, uh, to see other Nalagat two-touch center over the world. Adina, Adina, to this we can only say Amen. amen. Wish you that and much more. We have experienced here something that we thought was impossible and you and your wonderful cast have proven us wrong. Everything is possible. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. And Shalom.